Greetings everyone, this is P and welcome to the fifth part of our tutorials on how to make Call of Duty 4 single player maps. In this tutorial we will learn how to use animations in our maps. Here is our test map, as you can see I modified it uh, some parts. And now first thing we're gonna do is to create, uh, is to make our AI over here play an animation once the player comes in this area. To do that I will create a trigger as same way we said in the other tutorials trigger multiple and then I will have to create a scripted node which can be created by right clicking here going to node and then scripted this is a scripted node which can uh, make AI's play animations on it I will rotate it over here like that so once our player comes through this area this node will make our AI play an animation over here in this position. Now this animation will play once, it will be a single animation. Alright, so to do this we will need to do some scripting. Let's save our map. I will go to our map script over here which is test video 1, as you remember. And this is our map script as seen in the previous tutorials. And we will test our animations over here right after main function. Right now we'll copy some codes I have over here in this file. So first thing we gotta do is to create our uh, maps animation file. We will go to our Call of Duty 4 row maps and we will create another text uh, file named test video one underscore anim and then uh, changing the extension to GSC again. Alright, in this file we will need to include those scripts, those lines. Alright, as you can see this is our maps uh, animation script where we can uh, load various animations to make them play in our map. Now, we need to call this file right after our main function, over here. We'll just have to type this line and it will all be fine. Alright, so to make our AI go to this animation, we will first need to define our AI and then the node. Let's put a target name over here, uh, single node, that's the way I will call it. And our trigger will be um, anim trig. Alright, so Let's go and write that down. Let me copy this code over here, right here. So our AI is defined, SAS1. We also set uh, in infinite uh, health on our AI. Next thing we need to do is to set an anim name to our AI. I will copy this line over here, paste it over here, and as you can see we set an anim name of uh, actor1 to our SAS. One AI. Anim names can be uh, any text you want, just uh, make sure it's uh, long enough, like actor 1 or whatever. Alright, next let's see what those lines do. This line over here defines the single node that we created in our map over here, which will be responsible for playing animations on our AI. Uh, so we simply put a variable name over here, in this case single node. Then get node and not get end as we have over here. This is a node, not an entity as the AI. Get node, then same way with the AI get end. Single node, target name. Our target name was single node over here, right here. So we simply put it this way. Next, uh, we can see that we have SAS1 set goal node, single node, which makes our AI get in the position of the node. Simple enough. Next we have SAS1 wait till goal. I think I don't need to explain that. Next we call this function over here which is animreach solo and as we can see there are two parameters. The first parameter must be our uh, AI name, our AI variable name which in this case is SAS1. The second parameter must be the animation ID. The animation ID is defined in our maps anim file over here. As you can see, I defined an animation over here from the 
games animation files and I named it greetings so I put the name greetings over here which goes to this animation and as you can see here we have the anim name of our AI which is actor run those two must match this is very important if we want our AI to play the animation properly we have to set the proper anim name over here of the corresponding AI that will play the animation next we have the most important line which basically makes the AI play the animation on the node uh, first we have our uh, node name over here then we call this function which is anim single solo as you can see this function has the same parameters as our previous function alright that's all we need so far so I'm going to compile our map alright so now before we build our fast file we will have to load some more stuff on our zone file over here first thing we need to load is our animation name or animation file which can be done by this way and then we also need to load our uh, maps animation script which can be done by copying this and just changing the name to the corresponding file save okay one thing I forgot to do is to make the game wait until the player has gone through the trigger so I will simply write this down over here alright I will also comment this function we won't need this for now and I will make this go false because it will cause problems let's build our fast file and then let's test our map alright here's our map now let's see if the animation plays excellent if you played Call of Duty 4 you will of course recognize the animation and that's all we need to know now the AI is ready for combat alright next up we're gonna make our AI play a loop animation the way to do this is similar but we'll have to change some stuff uh, first let me copy some codes I have over here and paste them after our uh, single animation now we'll create a loop node somewhere else in our map I will just copy it put it over here rename the target name to loop node and alright that should do it as you can see same way as before we call our loop node over here our SAS goes to the node wait till go animrich solo and now the next function is the one that makes the difference as you can see we have anim loop solo instead of uh, anim single solo and we have some more parameters after our uh, two known parameters from the previous uh, from the previous procedure so our first parameter is our AI variable name and our second parameter is our animation ID name which is over here standing in this case anim name is the same so we keep it the same over here and our animation is different now note that we will need this thing over here this zero over here when it comes to loop animation if we want our, anim our defined animation over here to go loop we will have to put those otherwise we will get errors and next we have two more of our uh, two more parameters over here the one is undefined just keep it like that and then we have stop anim now if we notify our node with the text of stop anim it will stop playing the loop animation and it will, it will let the AI free uh, we can do this anytime in our script and in this case we will just wait for 5 seconds so the AI will play the loop animation on the loop node for 5 seconds and then we will notify the node to stop the animation and it will simply stop the animation and after that we will call this function to our AI so it will be free to move around alright let's compile our map again since we have the node over here alright again I will have to load the animation on our zone file let me get the name from the animation file over here alright let's build our first file alright now let's see alright first our AI will play the single animation excellent and now we will go and play the loop animation 
as you can see, he is standing still, playing the animation reset for 5 seconds and then stopping. Next thing we're gonna do is to make the AI play a single animation over here while going through this uh, hallway or whatever and then it will go to this node over here to hide the cover. First we will need to call the target name on this node, let's say corner node and then I will put another uh, node scripted over here like that and call it sing single node 2 like this alright back in our script I will uh, bypass our single and loop functions so we can work on the other one this time a single node 2 so we'll just put 2's after the node now let me find the animation we want as you can see I added our new single animation over here which is combat walk f spin and I named it look around I will replace the greetings uh, name name over here and then I will simply call our cover our corner cover node which is corner node like that and this will simply make the AI go and play this animation on our scripted node and when the animation is done it will simply move to our cover node over here so we can continue fighting or whatever let me just put this a little bit backwards over here once again I will have to include our animation over here and then build our first file alright let's see if it works there is our AI moving and plays the animation just looking around and goes to the cover alright that's all for now I don't think I'll do any more tutorials soon enough this was probably the last one Thanks for watching all my tutorials so far, I hope they helped you develop some basic single player mapping skills. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.